Okay guys, so I have my first Shein haul. And um, Shein, you receive your box uh, directly from China. And so that's sort of how they're able to get uh, such really amazing deals and amazing prices on their products and it comes in just actually just an unmarked box uh, This is just a plain box and it just has my address on it and I got sort of like just a mix a total mix of stuff um, I got a packet. I've actually already opened these and taken a few out, but I just wanted to show you anyway I got a little packet of headbands for my daughter. So this was a really good deal I think it was like three maybe three dollars for a bunch of headbands um, which was a better price than what you're going to find on Amazon. So, and they're really cute. And I would imagine that, you know, it's not something that's going to last forever. But honestly, you know, my daughter will wear them for a while and then she'll lose them or they might get dirty or something. So I don't necessarily need stuff for her that's going to last forever. So um, I like that they're really cheap and that there's a lot of different colors there. And then um, these were actually unbelievably cheap. They were marked down to, I think, with the, um, oh, they do offer coupons, like sometimes 15% off, sometimes 20% off. And then if you check into their app each day, you also get points that translate into uh, dollars. And I think right now I have like $3.00 just from like checking in each day. So then you can apply that to your order as well as like a 15% or 20% off coupon that's available. So you end up getting really good prices and the coupons do apply even to like stuff that's already marked down. So these this little, these little um, makeup organizers, you can always use more of these just to make it so that your stuff is more visible and more organized. And these were less than $2 each. These acrylic uh, makeup organizers are usually um, not that cheap, not nearly that cheap. Um, so this one is just like a cute little pink one. So it's something where you could just put like, uh, eye products or lipsticks or little nail polishes in there. Um, it's really cute. And, and another one, same thing. I think it was under $2 and this one a little different. It has some spots for some taller items, like it could be brushes or other tall items, and then short items in the front. It's very cute. And they both have sort of like, if they're clear, but they have a, like a pink tint to them. And then I did purchase some bras because I don't know if you guys have um, discovered this yet, but you can actually find wire-free bras that are still supportive and still super cute and they're so comfortable compared to bras with underwires um, and I know you might be thinking oh but like does it provide any support well if you look at the reviews there are women with all body types all um, bust sizes who are saying that it is so comfortable for them so it is something that could potentially work for you even if you are thinking you know that it might not provide enough support so and the prices are so cheap I think it's worthwhile to just get like one or two and try it and see what you think so each bra the a lot of these bras came in sets but each one came to maybe between three and five dollars for each pair so this is actually a really cute um, this is like one of those uh, bras that's it has like kind of a decorative part at the top so that if you're wearing like an off-the-shoulder top you want something like that's pretty at the top like this so that if your bra shows it will be cute and a few more of, and a few more of the same thing so these are also the wire free bras and some of them are like one size fits all and then some of them come in small medium and large so this is actually small so you can um, kind of check out the reviews and see uh, if women that are the same sizes you uh, chose small, medium, or large, and that helps you to, to make a good choice. And then this is, these are the super useful, these are the super useful kind of bras that are like really low in the front. So if you're wearing a top that has a really low cut, um, uh, like a v-neck, a really low cut v-neck, then you can still wear a bra and it won't like show here. So that's really useful to have. I also got a few just really inexpensive tank tops. These are good to wear under shirts that might be like see-through or shirts that might be like a little bit uh, too low cut. So you can just wear um, a top like this just to make sure that everything's covered, but it still is really cute. 
couple more tank tops here. So here's another little tank top, the same situation, just something to wear under something else. And a few cute phone cases. They have phone cases for only one or two dollars. It's sort of similar to AliExpress. AliExpress has super cute phone cases that are so cheap. And same with these. These are just one or two bucks each. So it just kind of makes it, it fun to kind of like chains out your phone case with something that's so cute. And more this bubble this uh this phone case has a little bubble tea on it and then that's a cassette tape and a camera thought those were and then a couple of very inexpensive pieces of jewelry i believe each of these um was only maybe uh two dollars and uh, they are made out of stainless steel which when i order the really cheap jewelry from aliexpress i find that if you get ones that are made from stainless steel that they don't turn your neck green and they don't tarnish so i've had luck with those i still don't like shower in them and i still try not to like do a sweaty activity in them just because it is really cheap jewelry but when i avoid those things i have found that these do last quite a long time so that's great and last but not least this is a little thing that you wear on your hands so that when you're um, doing your nails, you can stick your bottle of nail polish in here and it holds your bottle of nail polish there while you're like painting your nails. So I thought that was like a really cute little convenient thing to have. And last but not least, um, let me just quickly show you. I skipped a couple of the items that are sort of a little bit redundant. Um, and this is a little uh, a pencil case that looks like a bubble tea pouch. So it slides open and then it slides down so that um, you can kind of put it up on something and have like your, your makeup brushes or your pens or whatever sticking out. And then you can slide it up when you just want to close it and just take your pens away or whatever it is that you're storing in here. So that's really cute and it feels really good. It feels like it's good quality. So that was my first Shein haul. I would love to hear about y'all's experience with Shein, if you've gotten anything good there or anything that turned out to be bad. And I will put their information down in the info box if you want to check them out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.